This conference will now be recorded. This is Patricia Brundle, the Director for Voter Registration for the City of Manassas Park. I'm presenting the FY 2021 CIP request. Um, you will see there are three projects listed. The electronic poll books um, have been used in our city for 11 years. They are the original poll books. <clears throat> As you can see by their age, they have timed out uh, end of life. Um, they're also not being uh, provided coverage by um, the vendors who are long, no longer providing the coverage to the audience. So we've got to do something, and that means replacing our electronic poll books. There's a $25,000 place header in place. Um, we're hoping to come in under that, but that is with our current vendor, and that is all the bells and whistles. It is, uh, it's futuristic. There's printers on board of the device. There's also barcode readers, which makes our job easier for officers of elections and registrar staff to use these poll books, but we would prefer to use laptops, which are basically poll books. That's what we use for a poll book, a laptop. So we're, we're going to work with the IT department to hopefully come in on something that's a little bit more reasonable in cost. Um, per the state, we are allowed to use our current laptops and their current software versions through the presidential 2020 and the June um, that follows it. But these machines, these laptops, will be decertified on July 31st, 2021. So we have to something in place before they are put out of use. Um, that's why the money is in our in our CIP. Um, the next item is upgrades to it should say scanner instead of motherboard. Um, these are the devices that the voters come and they once they vote their ballot on election day or through the absentee process, they they put the ballot into the scanner. Uh, the state board is is doing not only the electronic poll books, but they're also doing the scanners, making sure they meet requirements, cybersecurity changes that have come along over the years. And so each vendor who sells these machines will have to do something to um, get their units up to a certain uh, bar that it must meet to be certified through the state. Um, we could be lucky and we could have to just replace um, some drives that go into the units, or it could be that we have to replace the motherboard for each of the units, which we know could cost um, about $1,000 a unit. So we're not sure what end we're on yet. We're waiting for our vendor to be certified and to tell us what we might do, but we need to get these also upgraded so we can continue to use them. Again, they will be decertified on July 31st, 2021. Um, and again, if we do not do these upgrades, what that means is that when people vote, we're gonna have to hand tally them. The scanners don't get upgraded, we can't use them. And again, officers would have to hand tally all the votes for each voter for each election. And if we do not get the electronic poll books up to snuff and get new ones, we will have to go back to using paper poll books. I don't need to remind many of you who've been through before where you stand in line waiting for your chance to get checked in. It takes a very long time to pull people up by hand um, and and we need those electronic poll books. So those are the two items that are up for FY 2021. And just so you can know what's coming in the future, the voting machine replacements, um, we put a placeholder for 2024 and that's for $100,000. That will be the 10 year a uh, lifespan for our our the machines that we are currently getting ready to replace thumb drives or motherboards on, but they they have a ten year lifespan. So that's just something for down the road that you can be thinking of. But again, we really do need these two things passed so that we can make sure that our our ballots are counted and our voters are checked in in an efficient way. Thank you.